What up, everybody? It's Joe from Complex. We're in Atlanta at Ama Manier with Trippy Red. Yeah, music. That's where I'm like, ah! Gonna do some sneaker shopping tonight. Gonna see what he's feeling, what he's not, and then hopefully he's gonna buy some sneakers. Let's go. Trippy, grew up in Canton, Ohio. Read that you dressed different than everyone else. You were wearing ice cream hoodies and vapes. What was it like to be kind of like a trendsetter in that neighborhood? Weird. Where I'm from, they didn't know nothing about that. If you wear that shit, you was a weirdo, so I guess that's what I was. And then where did you learn about that stuff? My older cousins, A1 billionaire, and my little cousin, Tavion Harris. The other thing, you said you wore jogging suits. Is that true? Yeah, I love, like, sweatsuits and shit. And what about style nowadays? How would you describe it? Um, it's unorthodox. I just put pieces together, just like with my music. <laughs> Definitely. Bapes. Have you worn Bape sneakers in a while or no? They ain't my cup of tea either. I ain't even gonna count. You okay. know what I'm saying? Like, I like bathing it, like the the hard bathing is the, the Bapes does. Ones. The roads yeah, does. change colors and shit. You know what I'm saying? Trippy, you Snapchatted a big shopping spree, over $25,000 worth of sneakers and clothes, and then we started getting hit up that we need you on the show. Do you shop like that often? Yeah. And where were you shopping? I was in LA. I was at a few stores, like over by like Fairfax and shit. We saw the Vapor Mac 97s, we saw the Off Whites. How do you choose when you're just gonna ball out like that? When I see what I like, I had to get these, 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 I had to get them. I had to get these too, and... Do you wear Jordans a lot? I saw that you don't wear Jordans that much. I literally wear these ones? kinds. Okay, the ones, ones in the tens, right? Yep, the tens. That's the only ones I wear, really, so, yeah. And then of the bulk on Snapchat, you said these were your favorite. They still your favorite? Or? Hell yeah, my favorite shoe. It's just like, they were only like 200 where I got them at, and I bet here they're like the cheap price too, which yeah. is crazy, because like, they have a slime-ass bottom. Yep. And they just, the shoe itself, like, it's dope. I had these too. And comfortable. Yeah. I mean, they just look fire all around, and they were cheaper than all of these shoes. So. And then, do you like crazy footwear or toned down or a little bit of both? I like everything. Versatility is key. We saw you at the airport in Cleveland. Do you travel with a lot of shoes or you just go to cities and then buy them? I'll buy them and then I'll ship everything back to the crib. Your hands are shaped like a heart right now. That's, yeah, they always say that because <laughs> to make sure that the hands are still, I do that. That's crazy. You got your shit like, oh shit. <laughs> My shit evil. Look like an alien heart. We have Kanye and we have Pharrell's shoe. Are you a fan of their shoes? Yes. I don't be knowing the names after all these shoes. I just love shoes. Like, I just get them. I don't, I'm not. I'm a sneakerhead, but I'm not. Ah, right, I right. need this. Ah. You know what I'm saying? I just get what I like. Do you have just other hobbies rather than just sneakers? Yeah, music. That's where I'm like, ah! Are you into high fashion sneakers? Out of this role, I like Mason Marzellas the most. But uh, you're a fan of the Balenciagas? Yes. I have like four pairs of the big ass boat ones. Triple S's, yeah. Yeah, and then I have like three pairs of the sock ones. What about Balenciaga do you like? They just look cool as fuck, and then the sock ones are comfortable as fuck. Like, I'm gonna definitely cop these. You talked about your cousins influencing you, but was your big brother really influential in your life. Yes. He grabbed a lot of shoes. Like, he just had varieties of different shits. And I used to be like, why don't you just get some Jordans? Because I was so young. But he was like, bro, it's just about the pieces. So. And you said that you even mentioned that over there, he may have had like some of those in the past. Yeah, the like 97s. the blue ones over there. He used to have the orange ones, like faded like orange and yellow or some shit. This is crazy. Do you like crazy, like sparkled Margellas? Uh, yeah, I like the damn ice on my neck. Yeah, look, matches. I got these already. Okay. Where would you wear those? Again, I'm a piecer, so like, I might grab this shirt one day, mm -hmm. and then a year later, I might grab these pants, and then I already had these shoes, so it's like, oh my God, an outfit finally came about. That's my type of fashion. Trippy, we're in the Hender Scheme section. What do you think about this footwear line? Very expensive takeoffs of like regular Adidas silhouettes and like the Reebok Insta Pump. Are you a fan of these? No. Why not? They do not look up to par. 
for the price. Like an Adidas feel, feel this. So is this something you would ever wear? The fuck is this wood? Yeah. And it got nails in the bottom? It's it's a very weird footwear line. Shit, it feels like it'll hurt. Is it comfortable? What the fuck? So it's a no-go on those. At this point, I don't know what the fuck is going on anymore. <laughs> and what about VizVim? You know, popular Japanese label? I get them now that you said they're Japanese. Just because it's like a different style, right? Yeah. If I was in Japan, you know what I'm saying? I'd wear some skinnies, pop these out. You know what I'm saying? Had them, had them popped out of the jeans like okay. that. You know what I'm saying? So in context, it makes a little more sense. Just these pair, like, these shits are ugly. And so are these. And I'd probably only wear these over here. These shits are ugly. They look like, like Skecher moccasins. <laughs> and these no-go. These, are, I don't even know. Hender Scheme sandals. This is a smoke perp shoe. This is smoke perp as a shoe. Good thing or a bad thing? I don't know. Act smoke perp. I saw the Pigeons and Planes interview. You were in Miami. Right. And you were like, even this being in a hotel is a luxury. How important to you is it to never become jaded? I look at everything like, I finally get to see the brighter side of things, you know? I used to see the dark side of things most of the time. Anxiety and depression. You know, that help was, helped as far as my music, so it just made me a better person, I guess. Well, we talked about everything now. Easy part, get to browse the shelves, buy whatever you're feeling. Don't buy these. <laughs> you're not taking those home? <laughs> I should take it home as a joke to my uh, stepdad. I'm pretty sure he'd like these. He'd kill those. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, probably <laughs> shoot them. <laughs>8134 56 So Trippy, thanks so much for coming through, taking the time. As you guys can see, got some new clothes, got some new sneakers. Make sure you check for the new album coming soon.